Let's now take a look at two of the craft categories, starting with production design, which is an award sponsored by Excel Video. Dai category Krefnaur, Gan Dechrai Gerard Wobber, and the Linio Canarchied. To present the award, we're joined on stage by two of the stars of S4C's new rom com series, Karavi. It's the magnificent story of how one woman aims to save her dying village by advertising single men on the side of every milk carton leaving the local dairy. You could say all they really need to do to find love is have a bit of bottle. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, why don't you show some big love in the house for Gwydion Rees and Kate Jarman. Production designers need to demonstrate a mix of creativity, cost effectiveness, and a fine eye for detail. This award recognises their skills. Eleni, my Stadley Brood in Earth Tour and a category Delinio Canerchiada, Honey Runger, Inigolion, seen Craig Wirthy at a set, he thought, and Erger and Vu. Dummer and Webiadai, here are the nominations. Sherlock, Arwell Wynne Jones. So why not tell us? Because he's tracking them down himself. For protecting them? Protecting the shooter, why? But uh, protecting someone, then. But why would he care? He's Sherlock. Who would he bother protecting? Call me if you hear anything. Don't hold out on me, John. Call me, OK? Yeah. Yeah, right. Da Vinci's Demons, Edward Thomas. Behold. If it is treasure you seek, this chamber contains more than you should ever require. Yes, we all, even Da Vinci. I'm just astonished at what tyranny can steal. A circus, Thomas Pierce. Hello. Hello, Philippe. And the winner is Aaron Ashley Arwell Wynne Jones, Sherlock. I really didn't expect that. Uh, first, thank you to my fellow nominees. I think um, Tom and I have been in the trenches more than once. You deserve this as much as I do. And Edward, I wouldn't even be here without you. So, uh, thank you. Um, thank you, Hartswood, as usual, for all the support. And um, a brilliant team, Dirtav, Jibba. Uh, he said if I win this, he'd come up here with me without his pants on. Right, cheers. Thank you very much. The next award is for Makeup and Hair. It's an award sponsored by Bauhaus. Personally, I find it always keeps to pay in with people who are doing your hair and makeup on set. Hmm. Looking at you, Gwydion, I don't think you've been trying hard enough. Only joking. Dumar and Wibiadai, here are the nominations. Sherlock, Claire Pritchard Jones. We're losing you, Sherlock. Come on, Sherlock. Just die, why can't you? One little push. Come on, Fipa. Great Seolity. Hailwen Evans. Stella, Claire Pritchard Jones. Come on, just get in. Never. <laughs> well, it was really helpful, you know, getting.
let me all out in the open, but I thought Di was going to kill me at one point when I told you him about the answer. You bloody idiot! You know they're both here, didn't you? Yanto! <gasps> and the winner is our initiative Ew, Sherlock Claire Pritchard Jones. Thank you to Hartswood and to Tidy Productions for the nominations. I've been very fortunate. And thank you to my amazing team. They are as loyal as a butcher's dog. Uh, to Amy, to Sarah and to Emma. Um, obviously, I can't do it without you. And to my family that are all here. Uh, sorry for always being late. Um, my children are just amazing. Congratulations, Adwell. We've got two more for the shelf. Thank you very much. Thank you. OK, right. Now, our category is going to be a talent in Dordi Ramlug and a Dwydiant. Akmar Wobberhon and Carly Roy Ian Golin see now the Vodiad in who ran or process can hurt you. A Wobber Tori Druoff. To present the Breakthrough Award, which is sponsored by Covlet, encouraging new talent in our industry, it is a great pleasure to welcome a writer performer and star of the award-winning series such as The Kumars, number 42, and Goodness Gracious Me. The Indian Doctor will see you now. It is Mr. Sanjeev Bhaskar. No sweat, huh? Yeah? Try on, try on. And uh, to uh, uh, BAFTA Cymru for uh, giving me the honour and privilege to present an award. Um, it's uh, it's a, always a joy to come down to Wales to work, uh, most recently on Doctor Who, three series of the Indian Doctor, which uh, I'm particularly proud of because I think it showcased British diversity at its very heart on a network show. So I'm very proud of that. Um, I just wanted to shout out uh, one group that perhaps don't get a mention, for which there isn't a BAFTA award, as far as I know, and that's the caterers. So, uh, Cleon Joshua, Bendy Bloody Getty. Um, so, this year's Breakthrough Awards feature a, a remarkable personal journey into the world of living with disability. The other two nominees are the writer-director of a comedy feature film about a botched robbery and a historian who tells the true story of a tragic mining disaster. Three very different nominations. Let's take a look at their work. Kerry Collins, director, convenience. Open the till, now! Is that not where it is? The shift only started 57 minutes ago. Everything before that's locked in the cell. Then open it! It's in the office. And the general public aren't allowed in there. Well, I look like a member of the general fucking public. No. What did I do? Open it now and you'll be cleaning his face off the counter. No, don't make me count to three. Liability insurance only covers... One! Two! Stop! Stop! Are you going to open the door? No. Three! Yes! Ellen Jones, presenter. Cofio sy'n hennydd. Pan y gorson o'r fynwent fawr yma, yn un naw dim naw, ond o'n siŵr yn meddwl y byddai'n cymryd flynyddau i lenwyr erwa hyn, ond fel ddigwyddodd hi, mewn pedair blynedd ond o'n torri resi o feddau, ac oedd y cypal gorffwys bech tu ôl i fi dani sang gyda chyrff y glywyr oedd wedi colli bywyd yn hanchoa fawr sy'n hennydd. James Lusted, presenter, taith fawr y dyn bach. Dwi wneud bach o ymchwil um, o gwmpas gwefan a gwahanol heddiw ar dwi wedi dod ar draws. Uh, 
hogan o apertivi uh, o'r enw Hanna ac hogan fengaf yng Nghymru sydd yn, yn defnyddio cwn tywys. Dwi meddwl bydd o'n bwysig iawn i, I weld rhywun sydd efo yn amgolwg, i weld sydd maen nhw yn, yn gweithio, um, yn, yn cael ymlaen yn y tŷ, yn mynd o gwmpas y le i le, bob math o bethau. Um, let's find out who the winner is. The BAFTA goes to, I always have to fight the urge not to read out my own name. The winner is Kerry Collins. Convenience. Thank you. God, I really wasn't expecting that. Um, Jochen van Bafta. Um, I really need to say a massive thank you to everybody that worked on this film because it was a very small film with ambitions to be something much bigger and I think hopefully maybe we achieved that. Um, massive thank you to the producer Ray Panthaki for believing in me and giving me an opportunity because I think we all need someone to give us an opportunity in our careers um, and giving me a chance to make my first feature film is obviously the biggest thing. Um, and massive thank you to my amazing wife Jane for letting me go and make a feature film six weeks after she'd given birth um, and then letting me use the baby in one of the scenes as well because <laughs> we couldn't afford to hire an actor baby whenever that's. thank you very much <laughs> It is the Short Form and Animation Award now, sponsored by High Performance Computing Wales. I gyflwyn o'r wobrnesa, dau aelod o gast y gyfres deledu a ddathlod eu ffemblwydd yn ddiweddar. To coincide with the 40th anniversary of Pobl Cwm, please welcome two people who've lived in Cwmderi for a very long time, Mike Pierce and Megan Harris, or as you know them and love them as well, Gareth Lewis and Elizabeth Miles. Dwi yn falch iawn y cael bod yma heno. Diolch am yr anrhydedd. Oherwydd na dwi'n gweld yn dda, mae Elizabeth yn mynd i ddarllen. Um, ac felly i ffwrdd â ni. This year the nominations in this category are all in the area of short form fiction. Mae'r ffilm fer, fer yn fai sy'n magu ac yn hyfforddi gwneithurwyr ffilm y fory. Ac yn un sydd yn nodedig am natur unigryw i greadigrwydd. Yet again, the nominations this year are stunning examples of how to tell a story in a different way. Here are the nominations. Dyma ryn webiadau. The Amis World. Person. Oh, am lwg am ei dal yn dlws. Dwi'n gwybod yn ar ein peth heb ddau. Mae'n edrych yn berson tyff. Bach, yn drist. Yeah. Pan maen nhw'n gael ein miswyl? Yn ddim tri ar dda tŵ. Cystadliaeth, efo sy'n bela. I dri o fod yn ein miswyl dri o fath. Dim leith dri o'ch fel yn gwybod. Mae'n glamwyr ys iawn. Three days. Um, do you want me to put these in your pill dispenser, or should I just leave them here? <laughs> this is the one that you have to be very careful with. You have to get the dosage exactly right. Do you understand what I'm saying?
are in a D, and the winner is Elizabeth. <laughs> The portrait. Um, well, thank you very much indeed, BAFTA. Um, it's a great honour. Um, I'd like to thank my brother, first and foremost, Ewan, for writing a screenplay that got us a great cast and funding. Um, I'd like to thank um, Clive Meyer, Linda Meyer Bennett, and Katie Holly, the producers. Um, and I'd like to thank an unofficial producer, my partner, Anna Siegel. Um, I'd also like to thank um, the Lighthouse in Brighton and the BFI for funding us. Thank you very much, Dioch. It's a great honor. Dioch Elizabeth. <laughs> now we celebrate the art of costume design in an award sponsored by St David's Shopping Centre. My hon yn wobr sy'n dathlu sgiliau'r crefftwyr hynny sy'n, sy'n creu gwyrthiau tu ôl i'r llenni. Ac yn gwneud i ni, ydych yn dda haflaen y camera. <laughs> Costume design is always a challenging craft, whether it's uh, modern day or period. Here are the nominations. Dyma ar unwebiadau. The Indian Doctor, Jilly Thornley. I've bought in some wine. Wine? <laughs> Matthias Rosé. It's all the rage in London, according to Basel. They're all drinking it up there. <laughs> Decant it for us, will you, Kerry? I'll just check on the dessert. Da Vinci's Demons, Annie Simons. She's appealing, grant you that. I'd rather bed that old toothless hag over there. A gwell, hinterland, Fionn Eleanor. And boss of Bethley, but Helen Jenkins and Nabod a person of the moss of them. Sorry, we've been high, sir. DSONs. We never been to our and all. We've got part on a bride of each of you, look at the deed. I've got the very bone hoyer at her. Initiative a D, and the winner is one small as a death. Jilly Thornley, the Indian doctor. Thank you very much, Bapta Kumri and Rondo Media for giving me the chance to work on Indian Doctor. Thank you, my lovely cast, Sanjeev, wherever you are, and my lovely crew. Thank you. Bye. And so we move on. Akanaur die category sin delio garashin weather and divrival in Bowid Modern. That said, yet I know the on a materian covois. The news coverage award is sponsored by Mella Media. And to present it, we welcome on stage two former sports stars who remain very much in the public eye. She is a former Wales football international and national team captain who now combines an academic career with being chair of Sport Wales. Meanwhile, his Twitter handle says, adopted and proud. Won a few medals along the way. 
Yeah, right. He won a gold medal in the World Indoor Athletics Championships and a silver in the Olympics way back in the day when he had hair. Please welcome Laura McAllister and Jamie Walsh. Bloody drop that. <laughs> this year, the nominations for news coverage covered two court cases for crimes that provoked national outrage. Here are the nominations. BBC Wales Today, Mark Bridger, The Verdict. Bridger was held at Aberystwyth Police Station where he told police he had accidentally killed April by knocking her over. But, as the jury heard, there was nothing to suggest the left-hand drive Land Rover Discovery had been involved in a collision. ITV News, Cymru, Wales. The Mark Bridger verdict. The judge continued, The grief of April's parents cannot be overstated. They've had to endure the spectacle of your hypocritical sympathy for their loss and of your tears flowing not because of any regret for your crimes, but because of your enduring self-pity. Bridger will spend the rest of his life behind bars. And for Coral and Paul Jones, the pain of living without their daughter will be with them forever. ITV News, Cymru, Wales. Ian Watkins sentencing. As the frontman of rock band Lost Profits, Ian Watkins used his celebrity public persona to groom his victims. But privately, he was accumulating a vast digital library of disturbing material. Watkins will now have many years to reflect on his crimes, but plenty of questions remain about the true scale of his abuse and whether it could and should have been stopped sooner. And the winner is... Can't bloody open it. Here we go. Um, ITV News, Cymru, Wales, Mark Bridger Verde. He whispered, it's heavy. He's right. <laughs> BAFTA, thank you. Judges, thank you. Um, this puts the cherry on the cake of a momentous year for us at ITV Cymru Wales. Uh, we move to our wonderful new uh, offices and studio just around the corner here in Cardiff Bay um, in the summer. Uh, we had all those great new gadgets and widgets to help us do the job. Uh, but we also have the team around us, the guys, the journalists and the production specialists, the brilliant presenters, Andrew and Jonathan Ruth that uh, work with uh, every day. Uh, so from them, uh, thank you. But also thank you to uh, two other groups. Uh, first of all, the people of Wales, um, who are privileged to say let us into their lives, their homes every day of the year. And also one family in particular, the family of April Jones, who passed away in such cruel and awful circumstances just over two years ago. Tonight, we remember them. Thank you. Moving on uh, now to current affairs, um, and which this award is sponsored by First Great Western. And the final three programmes in the category tackle difficult subjects in a thought-provoking way. One covers the aftermath of the tragedy that affected the town of Achenlleth. Another examined the human cost of a contentious prosecution for fraud. And the third contender follows a young Welsh girl searching for her long-lost family in the wake of Typhoon Haiyan. And the nominations are... Taronau. The production team. Mi nath yr adroddiad ganfod hefyd, nad oedd y swyddfa bost wedi gwneud digon i helpu i sbost feistri. A chan i bod yn gallu erlyn heb gysylltu ar heddlu ar CPS. Roedd eu cyfrifwyr yn canolbwyntio mwy ar gael arian yn ôl ac ar erlyn nag oedden nhw ar drio canfod gwir achos y problemau. Y byd ar bedwar byw heb April, Geraint Evans. Am chwe mis, nath yr heddlu barhau a'u hymdrechion i chwilio am April. Hon oedd yr ymdrech fwyaf erioed yn rhydden i ffindo person coll. 
ond hyd heddiw, does dim sôn am ei chorff. Y byd ar bedwar trychineb y teifŵn, the production team. I Tania Peregrino Owen, bydd gweld dinister dinas tacloban a chlywed ffawd i theulu yn aros gyda hi am beth. Mae pobl y ddynas yma teulu fi wedi mynd trws uh, hel. Um, mae nhw'n dal yn mynd, mae nhw'n dal, dal yn ffeitio. Dwi'n mor prawd ohono nhw a dwi'n mor prawd i fod yn Filipino. And the winner is... Y byd ar bedwar, trwch chi'n neb y taifŵn. Jamie, a diolch ymwrch chi, BAFTA. Wrth os nesa, bydd blwyddyn gron ers i taifŵn haian daro yn ysodd y Philippine. Next week, it'll be exactly one year since taifŵn haian tore through Tacloban, killing over 6,000 people and leaving many thousands homeless. We discovered that uh, a young Welsh girl in Manila had family missing in Tacloban. And Tanya Peregrino Owen decided to travel with us back to the disaster zone to see what had happened to her family. And I'm grateful to her for doing that and travelling along with Sean Morgan Lloyd and Iwan Roberts, our team. They discovered that her cousin was in fact buried in the rubble in Tacloban before her eyes. And I think the tear rolling down Tanya's cheek that day was just one of thousands of tears shed by the people of the Philippines when the true extent of the disaster became known. Gai ddi olch i'r tîm, oedd mor barod i neidio ar y waren i fynd i'r Philippine heb o bod wir beth oedd yn ei wynebu nhw. Di olch i Christine Davis fel arfer am ei gwaith yn rhoi sglein ar y cynnwys yn ystafell dorri. Gai ddi olch i ITV Cymru. I'd also like to thank ITV Wales for continuing to support Welsh language production. A hefyd di olch i S4 Ec am barhau i gefnogi newydd y direth ymchwiliadol yn yr iaith Gymraeg. I fod yn wneud dyddol os cai am funud fach, felly, mae angen adnoddau i wneud rhaglenni materion cyfoes o safon, a gobeithio wir y bydd y llywodraeth, pwy bynnag sy'n mewn grym y gwanwyn nesa, yn sicrhau bod yr adnoddau digonol na y cyllid angen rheidiol yn parhau i ddod i S4 Ec, fel yn bod ni chi cario mlaen i wneud ac i roi'r gwasanaeth Man will wear me and he hate thee. Just more Thank you to Jamie, thank you to Professor Laura McAllister. Two more craft awards now, starting with sound. And an award sponsored by Deloitte. I cyflwyno Robert Nessa and a category sign. A DJ seen sicker and had nabod a gerddoriaeth. A frif leisydd a group nine bach. To present this award, a top DJ to whom good sound is essential, as you all know from listening to his BBC Radio 1 shows. He's joined by the lead singer of the Bethesda-based band Nine Bach, whose latest album, Tinkian, has just been nominated for this year's Welsh Music Prize, which coincidentally was the brainchild of her co-presenter. You see how this comes full circle? Ladies and gentlemen, joined together tonight, but not at the hip, although they are quite hip, if you see what I mean, Lisa Jen Brown and Hugh Stevens. Oh, lovely. Thank you very much. Can we have a bit more bass in the monitors, please? Thank you. The award for best sound. The category features three different programmes, two top-class dramas and one international singing competition. So take a look, but more importantly, have a listen. A gwell, Hinterland, the production team. Yn yr ardd yn y catrena. 
mae'n y batrwm yn y lawnt. Chi'n cofio beth? Yn rhyw. Ydi bod nes blynydd oedd. Ydi bod nes blynydd oedd. Ydi bod nes blynydd oedd. Siwrne. Mae'r rhain gweud. Rhwn byw a marw. Doctor Who. The sound team. You're being attacked by a shape-shifting alien from outer space, formerly disguised as my horse. Oh, what does that mean? It means we're going to need a new horse. Where's it going? I'll hold it off. You run. Your people need you. And I need you alive for our wedding day. <laughs> oh, good work, Doctor. Nice one. The Virgin Queen. So much for history. Cardiff Singer of the World. The production team. Are any of you Cardiff Singer of the World? Hwyr bach rhyw yn nani'n gweud. Um, diolch yn mawr i BAFTA, am yr anrhydedd fawr. A diolch yn mawr yn rhaid i'r BBC uh, sy'n rhwydo a helpu cerddoriaeth byw. Um, a diolch i'r tîm, um, cynhyrchwyr um, Paul a Sue, um, a i'r tîm sain, okay. Keith Thomas, uh, Simon Smith, a Hugh a Paul. Diolch yn mawr iawn. She's Demons, the production team. Sherlock, Real SFX Limited. The effects team. The war to end all wars between my people and the Daleks. And in that battle, there was a man with more blood on his hands than any other. A man who would commit a crime that would silence the universe. And that man was me. And the winner is our initiative. Doctor Who effect scene. Yes, I, I should start by saying, yes, we do do special effects, not sound. Um, well, come in, come in. Um, I should just point out, this is a, a team effort. Obviously, I'm the physical representative, and this is the visual. Um, but I would like to just say um, a massive thank you, firstly, to my team, who are largely re represented tonight. 
Um, without them, I wouldn't be here, um, and it's been an incredible year for us. Um, I'd like to thank the uh, producers, uh, Marcus Wilson, and the continuing support of Brian Minchin, Tracy Simpson, Pete Bennett, for allowing me to continue with my, my craft and push the boundaries of physical special effects. Um, I'd like to also thank my family for putting up with me, for always being late to appointments and family stuff. Um, and, uh, and thank you finally uh, to Wales. Uh, I am, as you can tell, not from here, um, but I've been largely adopted by, by the Welsh uh, crews and uh, it's been a, a, a real sort of roller coaster for us as a company and, uh, and that's thanks to the wonderful talent that's here in, in Wales. So thank you very much. Thank you. I just have a, a couple of thank yous. Um, firstly, to Stephen Moffat for writing such a fantastic script. Um, to our chocolate supplier, uh, Neris Davis, um, who's known as our post-production supervisor mostly. Keep it coming, Neris. We've still got Christmas to deliver. Um, to my fantastic crew, who, some of which are with me tonight. Um, Clara may well be our impossible girl, but these guys do the impossible on a daily basis, and it's a privilege to work with them. Thank you. <laughs> On we go. The award for the children's programme to include animation is sponsored by the World's Millennium Centre. I'm sitting here drawing out at a Wobber am Raglen Blant Gan Gunnois Animadio. To announce the winner, a Codwell Children's Ambassador, a charity that BAFTA Cymru works very closely with on special screening events. He's also a presenter of CBB shows like The Bedtime Hour. Don't worry, he's already had an afternoon nap, so he can stay up all night and party in his hometown of Cardiff. Please welcome Mr Alex Winters. Thank you, Jason. It is nice to be allowed out with the adults for an evening, rather than babysitting your children and grandchildren. We have three very different programmes in this category. A documentary strand, a digital project which lets children give their honest opinions, and a very dynamic drama series full of special effects. Here are the nominations, Dama and Webby Adai. Hashtag V. The Dimach, Vine Toy, the Hian Cochirian, Medal, and Briva, Inion Revines, the Bath and Timo Patrick Caldican Amser. We have you just in time about Pam, I did a great E. Voa have the Avengers and Dean and her Goilo, Nesa, a Hapis. Our wedding, we have you just in Mabel, Vidica, Dad, amazing. Needy Nee Dai. Um, the first thing we have to do is to be a bitter boy. No, because that's why we just need to be happy. We're going to be a friend of the car and be a little bit. Wizards vs. Aliens. How does Varg's mission proceed? I regret I have lost him. Varg, are you there? Worthy nominees. And the winner is Nadini Dai. Well, this is a shock. Um, I'd like to thank um, SLC, BAFTA, Bill Jones, um, Sean Barry Hughes, Rondo, and I'd like to thank all the kids 
Listen, I think I'm right, Wilson. Sorry. We still need to deal with the power. That's the brand new rag line, and we're getting the bigger plants. Take care, Ian. Yes. And we move on. Another special award, the Gwyn Alf Williams Award, sponsored by the National Screen and Sound Archive of Wales. Gwobber Arbenig, Gwyn Alf Williams, Sinessa, Akma Hon and Wobber and Roth, at Academy Britannic and Hamri. Eke Vluinor Wobber, can Harchid Ragleni Dogven, Sid Wedi Enes Sal Wobber, and a ceremony Hon. To present this year's Gwyn Alf Award, a member of the British Academy Cymru jury that are awarding this accolade. He's also a notable documentary filmmaker and three-time winner in the category of the single documentary at these very awards. Please give a very warm welcome to Colin Thomas. It's now 20 years since the late, great Gwyn Alf Williams recorded his last programme. People's Remembrancer, Hanesse the Bobble, was, his, was the 30th programme I had the privilege of working on with him, and the challenge for entrance in this category of communicating wealth history with his kind of power and passion is a formidable one. There were three entrants, one from each of the Welsh broadcasters. 2013 was the centenary of the terrible St Genneth disaster, and the entries from both Esped Warek and ITV Wales were on that subject. Covio St Genneth included a brief but effective dramatisation, and ITV's entry was helped by Trevor Fishlock's telling narration. Both had chillingly effective moments, but the jury, Kenwyn Edwards, the historian, Dr Erin White and myself, concluded that the programmes felt as if they were made because the event had to be commemorated rather than because the makers had anything new or illuminating to say about it. BBC Wales's entry was on the miners' strike of 1984-85, to presented by Kim Howells. Actively involved in the strike himself, it made no pretense at objectivity, any more than Gwyn Alves' programmes did. There were moments where they could have done with some of Gwyn's aggression, particularly in the interview with Michael Heseltine, but the jury were impressed by Kim Howells' eloquence and self-criticism. It was shot beautifully and edited effectively, used music well, and told its sad story powerfully. Day after day, for a whole year, I saw close up the heroism and the anger of men and women who sustained the strike, often in the face of massive pressure from the forces of the state. There were men coming into my office just down the road here in Swansea, in tears, in tears. The houses were being repossessed, their marriages were breaking up. Nobody who grew up in mining communities could fail to be moved by these experiences. But I do want to raise some awkward questions. About the problem of trying to sustain a national strike when there hadn't been a national ballot. About a flawed national leadership that sometimes seemed to be absent. About the logic and wisdom of demanding a huge increase in coal production when it was clear that the key markets for coal were already in steep decline. Not all of my friends from the strike will agree with me when we talk about this, but they'll always be my friends from an epic struggle that failed. The jury unanimously agreed that this year the Gwyn Alf Award should go to the strike. Well, it's fantastic to receive an award in memory of a great historian and from a great filmmaker in Colin Thomas. Uh, thanks to Adrian Davis and Ellis Owen at BBC Wales for supporting this film so well. The extraordinary editing skills of Jane Morell, who was terrific throughout. To the people, the men and women of the coalfield uh, for their tenacity, 
their humanity and their dignity. Uh, they were amazing to meet and to be reminded of their extraordinary experience. And finally, a big thank you to Kim Howells, who presented this in such an extraordinary fashion. We felt that we could balance two very different things. One was living through that extraordinary year, the excitement, the pain, the betrayal of it, and at the same time, give some kind of cool assessment of it and why it failed and why it was wrongly led by the national leadership in Sheffield. And Kim did this and remembered the extraordinary commitment of the people of the South Wales Coalfield, who were the biggest critics of that leadership, but remembered their huge tenacity in staying out right to the end. It was a deeply moving and privileging experience. And Kim was an amazing presenter, and it was deeply moving to see the way he and the people who fought that strike together embraced each other now. I think you should hear from him. Thanks, uh, thanks, thanks to BBC Wales, thanks to Green Bay, to my, my great old friend Colin, and this is for the, uh, the incomparable miners, their families and supporters of Wales. Thanks very much.